Hi, uh, my name is Jaden Taylor. I'm an eighth grader at Westside Middle School. Uh, and this is Viewmaster. Everybody take your Viewmaster out and insert the first image disc. Look through those tiny binoculars and see the story. We see a man at the top of a building with a clock behind him at 12 with the words, Happy New Year. Fireworks shatter the sky behind as a woman seems to be crying. He holds something in his hands that is indeed a ring pop. The man in his humor seems like it would change the situation but it cannot take away the words that came out of his mouth. Will you marry me? The twining inside of them has connected into one. Change, that twining that seemed to be compact has begun to unravel as he became too busy. But my mother thought he would change. Change into a person who would be ready for me, ready to be a father, into a person who was on time for events, a person who spent time with her instead of his drunk friends. At the date of their anniversary, she waited under candlelight. He was still rushing to her. As the light went out, he finally arrived to see the chair empty. He ran to her and said he would change, but his words were hollow. Change. Into the first years of my life, my parents' relationship still hadn't changed. And it didn't, didn't seem like it would, being my norm. Disagreement, quarrel, argument is all that I could see. Mornings waking up to hear the chatter back and forth, starting with a calm like talk into a more forceful clatter that rattled the house. Change, times of homemade pucks and hockey sticks, playing kitchen hockey with my father alongside the naughty box and the lost pucks under the oven, with the happiness and joy that filled that room. One day I walked into the kitchen for, for waiting for another experience, but a fight had broken out. A rivalry was brewing. A declaration of war had been signed with the words, I want a divorce at the bottom. And land needed to be adjusted. One side wanted even compromise, while the other wanted full control. I, the land, watched beneath their conflict, trampling over me. Change. Then one day it seemed kind of calm. An ominous calm that didn't seem quite right. The battle had been at seas, and it was time to resume for a final fight for glory. Or more like a bloody victory. Through this time period, I watched the words swarmed around me like bees with each, where the hell were you, each court appearance, and each, how do you feel about your parents? They dig farther in beneath my skin. These things grow from small pains into a hopeless, dizzy motion. Every word swells my skin larger and larger until I look like a red violet Beauregard, ready to pop at any second. I lose the blood in my head and black out. Change. In my dream, most positive memories have faded away. Except one image. An image of the small styrofoam puck gliding back and forth from tiny sticks. And although it was played in the smallest of kitchens, I always felt like I was fighting for Lord Stanley's cup. And within that memory, within that moment, nothing will ever change.